In this tech tip for Photoshop, I will show you a shortcut for finding and marking the lightest highlight and darkest shadow in an image. This image of an equal is very representative of a normal key image with equal amounts of highlight, mid-tone, and shadow detail. With so many dark shadows in the feathers and eyes and highlights in the head, it can make for a very time-consuming task to find the lightest light and darkest dark points. So I'm going to show you a way using thresholds to help speed this process up. To open thresholds, I will go to Image, Adjustments, and then select Thresholds. This graph identifies the luminance levels of the pixels in the current selection. To determine the darkest shadow, I start by dragging the slider to the far left until the image is completely white. I then gradually move the slider back to the right until some black begins to appear. These are the darkest points in the image. I can now set my shadow point by holding shift option and then clicking my mouse. I'm going to set the shadow point in the eye. Notice a marker is left with the number 1. Now to determine the lightest highlight. I start by dragging the slider to the far right until the image is completely black. I then gradually move the slider back to the left until some white begins to appear. These are the lightest points in the image. Since I will be using these points to identify the lightest light in which I want detail, I need to make sure I do not select a spectral highlight, such as a shiny reflection on a spoon or the rim of a glass. A spectral highlight should not have any detail or color in the cyan, magenta, yellow, or black channels. I can now set my highlight point again by holding shift option and clicking the mouse. This image did not have any spectral highlight, so it is a logical place for highlight detail. Notice a number two marker is left. We can now cancel out of the threshold command. If you refer to the info box, you'll see I now have specific information for both points one and two for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black channels. These points will be handy when evaluating the results of the various changes made to an image. I suggest finding your highlight and shadow points since these are particularly delicate areas when printing Flexo. Detail is most often lost in the highlight and shadow areas, so it is important to pay particular attention here, though other points may also be identified and monitored. You can set up to four points in Photoshop. You now have a quick way to set your highlight and shadow points using thresholds.